I think that focused ultrasound treatment is non-invasive, it's non-toxic, it doesn't need scalpels, uh, all of which is well liked by owners. And the treatment outcomes in some cases are as good or better uh, than the conventional methods. So uh, I think that those are the key benefits that I see of doing this kind of treatment over something that is currently available. The type and the incidence rate of canine cancer is almost uh, similar to humans. Uh, for example, uh, canine oral melanoma is well established when detected and it almost resembles human dermal melanoma. So in many ways, uh, uh, what we are learning in canine patients can easily be translated to humans. So all in all, uh, doing things in a, in a canine cancer that mimics human disease uh, is allowing us to bridge uh, the gap uh, pretty faster while also benefiting our veterinary patients uh, uh, concurrently. I'm very enthusiastic about how things are moving forward. Uh, we are getting very promising data uh, in our canine patients. Uh, uh, in some cases, we had complete re remission. In other cases, we had control of disease. So knowing and seeing what we are seeing uh, on a daily basis with our patient gives me high hopes that uh, this technology will have a bright future. We are very thankful to the Focused Ultrasound Foundation for supporting this research as it is allowing us to translate these to the actual patients and uh, generate data uh, that are really beneficial for overall therapeutic outcomes.